And there's the game. Okay, everything looks good. Love the sound of that logo. Sounds so good. <clears throat> Infinity Gems. There are six different Infinity Gems. Each gem controls one of the forces of either time, space, power, reality, mind, or soul. It is said that the being who obtains all of the gems will become omnipotent ruler of the universe. Someone has started to gather these six gems. If they can gather all of the gems, the universe will suffer. In a new age of evil, you must help. Adam Warlock asks the Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Knowing that the fate of the entire universe is at stake, Earth's mightiest heroes assemble to assist Adam Warlock in preventing the Infinity Gems from falling into the wrong hands. Marvel Superheroes, War of the Gems. Okay, we're not uh, going to watch all of these. Um... Oh, this game's got a password system. Okay, so. Wow. Very simple controls. Uh, not too many options here. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll just get started with the game. Wait, is it gonna play the intro again? As the Infinity Gems fall to Earth, the human race begins to realize that it is in grave danger. The heroes determined to assist Adam Warlock begin to search for the gems that have been <coughs> excuse me, scattered all over the world. Stark Enterprise's supercomputer has pointed out the locations where the Infinity Gems may have landed. Near Doctor Doom's castle in Latveria, the Amazon River Basin in the central region of South America, Alaska in the northern region of North America, the Boston Aquarium in the east of area of North America. Investigate these areas immediately. Wait, that's only four areas. There's six gems. <clears throat> so like I said uh, before, uh, I actually uh, have played this game before when I was a kid. Um, I believe I beat every level except for the aquarium one when I, when I played this all those years ago, and that's the furthest I made it. I believe I, I lost everybody um, by the time I made it to the aquarium, and of course I uh, lost my last guy uh, trying to beat that level, so uh, if I get further than that, then it'll be my first time uh, ever playing beyond that point. Uh, but I'll, I'll try to remember that this game has a password system so I can play beyond that point if, if I don't make it again. So I assume Avengers Base is this is a training room. Okay. So yeah. Huh, look at that. They, they actually got the uh the Marvel Superheroes fighting game sprites for Captain America, Spider-Man, and Iron Man on the, on the character select screen. But not for Wolverine and Hulk. I wonder why. I guess I'll just pick... Oh. I guess I'll just pick Hulk. Seeing as how... We didn't see him in... Oh, God. Hulk looks so ugly in this game. Ethan. Oh, God.
Oh, come on. Okay, I understand this is a beat em up and all, but why in the world does every attack have to knock you down? And, and that can hardly be considered training, seeing as how it's just a one on one fight with a boss character. Or, or at least I assume that was a boss. It certainly was treated as such. Uh, I'm not sure what level I should play first, actually. Uh, I think I'll play the Aquarium last, seeing as how that's where I was stuck on last time when I played this all those years ago. Question is, who do, who do I who do I pick first? Um, You know, I actually don't want to play it, play as Hulk. Uh, but I, keep, I keep forgetting that the buttons are. Uh, oh. oh, so so these are like items I can bring with me. Uh, small energy tank, big energy tank, gem power item. Might as well. Wait, I don't think I, I took the item. Doesn't seem to be any kind of dash or run button. Oh god, I'm starting to realize something. <sighs> See, like, like, that was just a light punch. Like, not even a special attack or, or, or a hard punch or anything. Just a, a regular punch and it knocked me down. Why, why does it gotta be like that? Oh god. But yeah, like I said, uh... I'm starting to realize something, and that's uh, that this game is actually using the same engine as uh, X-Men uh, Mutant Apocalypse, I think it was called. Which is one of the games that I played uh, last stream. Yeah. Yeah, from, from the sound effects to, to, to the way the game looks, to, to, to the way it plays and... Yeah, everything just says that this is basically on the same engine as that game, as well as the fact that it's a platformer beat em up hybrid with uh, the special moves that are executed with fighting game commands. And given how disappointed I ended up being with that game, it's no surprise that uh, this game is turning out poorly for me as well. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Like, okay, so I don't think this is actually the, the same Wolverine sprite from, from uh, Mutant Apocalypse. It actually looks kind of worse, if, if you ask me. But, uh... But look at how much damage I've taken already, and I've only been hit a couple of times. Like, that's really the, the main problem here, is that... Even if these games are mechanically sound, it, they're so difficult to play that... that, that hard to enjoy them. Oh my god, why, why, why is Silence Pistol sound effects the, the sound effect for Wolverine's Claws? It was fine in, in, in Even Apocalypse, so why did they change it? 
still, at least, they, they kept Wolverine's abilities to climb walls. Not that they'd have any reason to get rid of it, but... Still. Yeah. <laughs> why, why are pistol sound effects... Uh, silence pistol sound effects Wolverine's claws? Oh look, I actually managed to find a health pickup. Can you believe that? Oh look, I actually managed to make it to the boss, and all it took was taking an alternate route. E Sasquatch. He doesn't get damage from standing in spikes. <sighs> I was trying to do the gem ability to see if it would help me, but 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 of course. N nothing can be easy in this game. They have to make everything complicated, even something that should be simple commands. We'll see if we can finish even one level of, of this game. What? Why can't I select this? do anything? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so Spider-Man seems like the best one for combat so far. Of course, he can also climb walls, so... I mean, he's Spider-Man, so... Excuse me. It really sucks that you can't change the direction that you're jumping in midair. I guess I'm too used to being able to do that in Metroid. AKA being able to do that in a good game. Wait, okay, so I definitely want to get that. Now let me see if I can... Good. Oh, and of course they're gonna make me go through the whole boss introduction thing again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, come on. <sighs> nice, okay. So I actually managed to beat a level in this game. You got the state, you got the gem, stage clear. Okay, so where are we going next? I'm ready for anybody. <laughs> Doom's Castle sounds kind of intimidating. Let's go to Amazon next. Okay, so Spider-Man seems like the best character so far. Um, oh wow, your health does not replenish between levels. So that's what these uh, energy tanks are for. I thought there were energy tanks that you could take with you in the level. Uh, not really sure. Uh... Alright, if I have trouble with this level, then, then, then I'll... I really feel like uh, they made some some very big mistakes that they could have easily avoided with the game design here. Like it, instead of the the E-tanks e being used to restore your health between stages, they should have just restored your health automatically after beating each level, and then the E-tanks can be used during a level to restore your health, like in a Mega Man game. And this was years after Mega Man debuted, so there's no excuse for them to not implement them this way. Oh yeah, Spider-Man is definitely the best character. His standing combos are the, have the most hits in them, so you get a full combo off and it, it automatically KOs an opponent. And, and plus he, he, he attacks very fast as well. Plus, there seems to be some, some wonky collision detection with his attacks, meaning you can turn around while doing a combo and, and uh, keep it going indefinitely by having him miss a hit or two in, in the middle of it and then turning back around to, uh, you know, keep it going. Oh wow, that, that's not... That's just straight up Hawkeye, like, like not even a recolor of him, just, that's literally Hawkeye. I mean, it doesn't look like him exactly, but, but that's pretty much just literally Hawkeye. And why won't any of these guys die? Yo, Sacred Blood Lord, what's up? Nice to see you got that, uh, uh, Founder's Badge. Thank you for the sub, by the way. Uh, I, I thanked you while you were, um, uh, you know, at the beginning of the stream when I first announced that I got affiliate and everything. Uh, I don't have any emotes yet, but I have already submitted them, and I'm just waiting for them to get approved. Hopefully the ones I, I picked you, you'll, you'll like. Um, since, since you missed it, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it the, the way I did at the beginning of my stream. So the five emotes that I submitted right now, uh, one for each tier of sub and uh, two uh, bit emotes, um, those are the five emotes that I'm planning to have for uh, tier one. And then, you know, 
among the others that, that, that I already have ready is, you know, those will be tier 2 and tier 3 later on once I have all my slots unlocked. Um, after that, um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do in terms of emotes, but uh, pretty much everything that I have right now is a placeholder until I have enough money that, that I can hire somebody to make emotes and, and, and badges and stuff for me. Um, I don't have a 1k bit badge yet because uh, the emote that I actually want for that hasn't been made yet. But uh, I am uh, working on uh, getting it done as quickly as possible. But like I said, it, it's going to be a placeholder until I get exactly what I want for, for that emote slot. Oh god. Yeah, thanks Bloodlord. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who, who helped me out, really. It, it took me almost a year of streaming to finally get here, but I'm glad to have finally done it. Also, I'm about to die. Uh, at least I managed to get a revive power-up, though I'm pretty sure it won't respawn if I make it back here. Oh god, my, my phone went off at the same time that, that the game froze there. E. Wolverine. Um, Oh god, yeah, I'm about to die. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, um, let me see. Oh Jesus, I... Okay, so, I'm pretty sure I can revive Spider-Man, but I have to play as another character in order to do that. Okay, well, let, let's see how, how well Iron Man plays, uh, if he plays well at all. Too bad, actually. Certainly, he doesn't have Spider Man's mobility, but he seems powerful in terms of his combos and, uh. Oh, yeah, that air combo. Oh, yeah. That's so satisfying to pull off. So, air enemies are pretty much not a threat because of that. Okay, that, that, that was, uh, poorly placed. At least I managed to take care of the threat. Oh, wow! Oh! How did I do that? Okay, so... I think I know I... How I do that. It's forward twice, then attack. <sighs> oh god, th these guys gave me a whole bunch of problems earlier. I actually might die here because of them. Okay, well, I got a health pickup, but still. They to kill two of them. Okay. That's good. Ugh. Tried to hit him in the air. Oh, okay. So they're all dead now. Still, though, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it back to where the revive spot is. So. And if so, there's no guarantee that it'll still be there when I get there. Like, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die before I get there, for one thing. And second, uh, I'm pretty sure the revived power-up will no longer be there if I do make it. 
Yeah, like, like I'm pretty sure these enemies are gonna kill me here. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm totally dead here. How am I not dead? Well, I'm dead now, so it doesn't matter, but still. <sighs> yeah. Oh, this game is impossible. Well, at least I got Spider-Man back, so I can hopefully make it further this time. Excuse me. Hey, come on. Ah, oh, I usually don't get hit by them. Before I even get to the Hawkeye clones. So those guys didn't give me as much of a problem as they did last time. cameras before you can move on. Oh god. How am I supposed to get up there? Does Spider-Man have, have some form of air dashing? Like web slinging? Evidently not. Um... Yeah. I guess Iron Man would be able to get up there. He must have a double jump or something. I didn't exactly try to double jump with him, so maybe he does, I don't know. Oh, camera did something weird there. Oh, what? 
they have a hole there, but you can't crawl into it. That's really weird. And also, very good that uh, the revived character power actually does come back. So, uh, if I die here, I can actually bring Spider-Man back again. But uh, I have to essentially play and lose another character in order to do that. Oh, come on! Wow, okay, that was, that was very lucky. I'm surprised he didn't try to attack me. By the way, the, the color scheme that that Wolverine has there is actually a, a color for Wolverine in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Very cool that they referenced that. Okay, so uh, I guess the only other level for me to play now is Dr. Doom's Castle since uh, the aquarium level is where I got stuck on when I played this as a kid years ago, so... If I'm gonna get a game over, it's gonna be there again. Very stupid that uh, I have to... Uh, refill my health between levels using items rather than... Hmm, interesting. Alright, I'll take this gem with me, but I'm not sure if it's a one-time use or anything like that, so I may be wasting it here if it is. since it seems to be an alternate path. Oh god. Oh yeah, it definitely is, because it seems harder than it might usually be to reverse. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen, that's why I backed away from the door. That tells me that the blue ones, uh, blue ones have more durability than than the others. Yeah, I, I can't turn back in time to jump on the wall there. For some reason, I can't climb on that wall, and now I could. Oh, and look at that. I, I immediately get hit as soon as I get on it. And, and it fires as soon as I jump, too. Amazing. Okay, so there's nothing here. Oh! That's something. Definitely want to get that. Oh, God! That thing literally fell as soon as I... Oh my god, and this is a bottomless pit, okay. Ugh, I gotta jump as soon as I- Oh my god! And I could have gotten a revived character to pick up there too. Well, I suppose now is as good of a time as any to see if Iron Man has a double jump. Also, I'm pretty sure uh, this gem isn't working unless I gotta press a button for it. Well, you seem to have infinite uses, so that's good. Okay. Yes, he does have a double jump. 
I, I just didn't try to before. I just kind of assumed that. Oh god. trying to do it that time. as soon as you land on it, instead of giving you a chance. I wonder what the hell that pedestal is there for. Oh, come on. I tried to hit him. Oh, wow. We both shot at the same time. Oh, come on! He was open! Okay, hopefully I've got this figured out. What? I wasn't even trying to do it that time. Wait, what? Okay, so that's clearly not going to be the last time we see him then, because I didn't... Curse you, I cannot believe... You have me cornered. Make no mistake, we will meet again. Stop! Yeah, I didn't empty his health bar, so... Like I said, that's definitely not the last time we'll be seeing him. We didn't even get a gem there. Excuse me. Thank goodness there is almost no damage to my running systems. Excuse me. Now let's move. And now for the stage that I got stuck on when I was a kid. I'm totally not expecting to be able to, to beat this. You're going to see why I wasn't able to beat this game as a kid in just a moment. It seems the villains have planted some explosives in the aquarium. You have to find the gem and escape immediately. If you don't, you'll perish. Okay, so here, so from here on out, the, the level is going to be flooded with water, and you, you have to complete each part of the level with, with limited oxygen. If oxygen runs out, uh, then uh, you start to lose health instead, so uh, yeah. Okay, so you gotta jump first in order to... Ugh. Oh, 
you don't even have to beat them, you just gotta get past the section, okay. So yeah, as you could no doubt tell, the reason why I lost all my lives on this level as a kid is because, uh, on one of the later sections, I ended up running out of air and, you know, lost all my life because of that. Oh, so now I gotta fight a mini boss version of this enemy. And having to fight this thing is probably one of the reasons why I, was a I, I failed this as a kid as well. Although I seem to be having an easy time with it now. Ugh. Never mind. Oh my, how did that not hit him? Are you kidding me? Ugh. And you move so slowly, but by the time you get back up and in position to be able to hit him, you're already out of your invincibility frame. Oh, okay, well, that actually managed to, uh, work out for me. Ugh. Managed to still hit him. Okay. Oh god! I almost fell to my death there. Pretty sure I'm gonna run out of oxygen here though. Ugh! What? Yep. And there goes my life. Oh wow, I actually managed to get out there. Oh, and here's the boss. Of course, at half health, it's... Oh god, two of them? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna be able to beat this boss then. Revives there though, I don't think. But uh, I actually managed to get past where I got stuck on as a kid all those years ago. So uh, after obtaining the second gem, the heroes learned some valuable information. The enemy's name is the Magus. He is gathering the gems and using a huge orbiting battleship as his base. The universe will never be safe until the Magus is defeated. With that in mind, the heroes decided to charge the orbiting spacecraft. So this is actually going to be my first time playing uh, these levels. Um, <clears throat> All right. Oh, your health got restored this time. I'm surprised they did that, seeing as how they didn't do that for the rest of the game. Would've been nice if they also revived all your characters as well if you made it this far. Oh look! 
That's actually a, a color scheme that Iron Man has in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, so it's another thing that they referenced in that game. Oh god. This is awkward. Uh, I'm gonna have to destroy this cannon first. And of course I couldn't destroy it without getting hit by it. Oh! oh. Okay, um... Uh, would have been nice to, to, to grab that power up, but uh... can't see off screen just comes out of nowhere and hits you. Oh, wanna get that. Though I kind of wish it was a regular health pickup and not an energy tank. Oh god! <laughs> At least there's only one now, and they're all gone. Um, oh god. Oh, there's a big one in the middle, and I'm, now I'm gonna die. Good, but that's only a small amount of health, and I'm gonna need more than that, especially when things like that happen. Once again, I wish that was a. Oh, okay, good. More health, but um. I was anticipating that thing to shoot me, which is why I was hesitant to attack it. I'm not sure if I should uh, step on that platform or... Okay. Well, I'm almost at full health again, so... Uh, hopefully whatever... Oh god! So many of them! Oh! Nice if they put a health pick up there, even if only certain characters would be able to reach it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they put one right here, so every character can get it. All right. Oh, here comes. Here's the Magus. Okay, so I assume that that uh, that area there is a death barrier. So I uh, better not. Ah. Ah. No. Oh, he, for some reason, he shot Webb, even though I didn't want him to do that. Ah. No! Okay, I should I should try, try stop trying to do that. Oh, come on, I hit him! Okay, well, at least that's that. 
Also, good thing that that wasn't a death barrier, because I actually uh, touched it. I'm pretty sure that the whole purpose of doing that was to create a wind current for that battle, actually. The heroes have finally defeated the Magus. However, Magus only had one of the gems. At that moment, a message appeared on the computer screen. I am Thanos. Hear me, heroes of Earth. Only I am qualified to possess the Infinity Gems. Give me the gems, or you shall die. Realizing that Thanos is mad with power, the heroes of Earth decided to find the remaining three gems. The computer have, it has indicated four new possible locations. Egypt in the north of the African continent, asteroid belts, an abandoned mining complex in Arizona, Mount Vesuvius, Italy. I feel like you have to play all of these levels. Uh, and the structure here is starting to feel very much like a, a late generation uh, classic Mega Man game. Where you know how in, in Mega Man 7 you only have four robot master stages to choose from instead of eight? And then you, you beat a mid game level and then you unlock the other four. Same with Mega Man 8 as well. That, that's what this feels like right here. Like, I beat four stages, now I beat a midway stage, and now I gotta beat four more stages before I can play the, the, the final stage or stages. Let me, let me just go on a whim here and, and play Asteroid Belt first. Uh, I got three of both of these, so... Oh, and I can revive a character. Nice. Okay, well, let's let's revive Wolverine, then. Um, Alright, so since I have an even amount of these... Power gem... Oh, that's all that does? Okay, then. Well, um... In that case, I'll stick to... No, yeah. Since I have three of both, I might as well use the... Restore my full health one. Still really stupid that you actually have to do this between levels instead of it being a natural thing. Would have greatly preferred it if they did it the Mega Man way and, and oh god. Those things explode if you touch them, so Ugh. Oh, I'm starting to wish I picked Iron Man for this level now. Oh, and it's Dr. Doom again, and this time... I have been waiting for you. Those magnificent gems do not become you. Only I am worthy of their power. In exchange for them, I shall give you... Beautiful Death. Wait, so am I already at the stage's boss, or is this... What is this? There's no way I'm at the end of the stage already. The, the, the boss music isn't playing. Really? Is this the way that the fight is going to play out? Would be nice if you would get close to the center of the screen. Time I jump properly. Oh god. Wait, what? So he must be on a. That must have been him standing on an off screen platform then. Ugh! Mistimed my jump again. Oh, wow! I, I was not expecting him to do that. Okay. That, that's like his uh, photon shot in, in, in Marvel Super Heroes. 
Oh my, yeah. After all of that, you, you only get a small health. Oh, wonderful. Oh god. Oh, okay, well, I suppose I wasn't that bad since it led me to a uh, big health power-up. Oh god, and of course I can't climb up that wall and, and, and jump on that platform. Uh, these things are going to be the death of me. Super careful here. I really want to get that E-Tank. Okay. I, I was really worried there because I, I, I couldn't see what was below me, so that was pretty much a leap of faith, much like in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Oh god, it's Blackheart. And he's literally using his sprite from Marvel superheroes as well. Like, like that's literally just his sprite from Marvel superheroes converted to uh, Super Nintendo. So standing right next to him, or, or rather above him, is a bad idea. Very nervous right here, because he could very easily kill me! And he, he's definitely going to. I have a chance here, but uh, he's most likely going to kill me. Because of that, if it wasn't for that attack, I, I would have had a chance there. Well, it looks like... It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to... Well, who knows? Maybe, maybe Iron Man will be able to pull it off. Excuse me. I should really figure out how to use these gems, though. Things are a problem too. Okay. Gosh, help. Ugh. God, I hate this Sad thing is, I'm gonna have to fight Doctor Doom again as well. Really wish this cutscene was skipped. This, is, uh, this looks like I'm going to need to use a password here, because I don't see how I'm going to be able to beat him with either Captain America or the Hulk. No!
Oh, right. Come on! Oh, okay. For some reason the screen wouldn't let me go back. <sighs> Having these things explode if they touch you is probably one of the worst things about this level. If not the worst. I have no idea how I'm gonna fight this guy as Wolverine. Especially when he opens with that. I think I, all right. I think I'm gonna just look up the password for progressing past the point of uh, this level and, and uh, use a password to uh, get past this. I'm repeating myself. I'm gonna use a password to progress past this point. Richard Sage, what's up? Uh, <laughs> thanks for the, uh, um, thanks for the, uh, sub. Uh, <laughs> I thanked you at the beginning of the stream, but, but since you're here, I'll, I'll say thanks again for, for... Oh! You... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about some somebody else. Um, <laughs> yeah, Richard Sage, thanks for the sub. Uh, enjoy your uh, founder's badge. Um, since you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, I'll, I'll explain briefly again um, uh, how, how my emotes for my channel are going to work. So currently, uh, I have five emotes submitted, uh, one for each tier of, of, of sub that, that you can have, and um, uh, another, uh, uh, the, the other two are, are, are bid emotes, uh, one for 5k and one for uh, 10k. Uh, the, the 1k... Uh, sub emotes, um, you know, 1k bits sub emotes. <sighs> why, why am I saying sub emote? 1k bits emotes. Uh, that I don't have yet because uh, I haven't got it made yet. I know what I have in mind for it, but I just need to make it. Um, but pretty much all of my emotes um, are placeholders for the time being and, until I can afford to pay an artist to make, you know, emotes that I actually want. So uh, until then, these are pretty much just going to be the placeholders for now. And uh, the five emotes that I've submitted are going to be what I plan to have as my uh, tier one emotes um, as I'm affiliate. 
So uh, once I have all those slots filled, uh, those the five emotes that I have submitted now are going to be the the five uh, tier one sub emotes, and then you know the others that that, that I have already made are going to be uh, the higher tier emotes and the uh, bit badge emotes. Um, so yeah. That, that's how things are going to be for the now, but like I said, for the time being, they're, they're all just placeholders, you know. Pretty much everything that, that, that I have set up at the moment is a, is a placeholder until I uh, am able to afford to pay an artist to make stuff for me. Yeah, I'll upgrade over time. That's how I'm gonna play, play this whole thing out, so, uh, yeah. Once again, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. And, uh, oh, by the way, while you're here, um, can you teach me real quick how, how to run an ad? Because I don't know how to do that. options like in chat settings or something oh and in, in creator dashboard okay Alright, uh, let, let's see if I can access it from the Twitch app. Oh, right, I, I, I can't access the, the dashboard from the app. I, I have to, I gotta do this. Okay, so create a dashboard. Okay, yeah, I see it now. All right, um, I'm gonna run a, a, a test 60 second ad break. Um, you guys won't, won't see it because um, you, you're soaked, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run this to, just to see if it works. Um, uh, clearly, you're not gonna be able to tell me whether or not if it works, so I'm just gonna assume that it did. But uh, while that's running, um, so yeah, uh, yeah, thanks for telling me how to do that, Richard. Um, um, right now, I'm just playing uh, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems, a Super Nintendo um, uh, beat 'em up platformer hybrid. Um, that uh, honestly, I wasn't all too big on uh, <laughs> uh, at first, uh, but now that I uh, actually know how to play the game a bit, uh, I actually enjoy it a lot more. Still not, you know, all that fond of it, but but it's certainly better than, than how I was... Well, that mostly has to do with uh, who you're playing as, though. You know what I mean? Like, um, like before, I, I, I was uh, struggling because uh, I couldn't use the characters that I was playing as well, but uh, once I started playing as Spider-Man, I, I started to do a lot better. But now I, I, I lost him, and I'm down to my last character, so I'm probably gonna game over here. Uh, probably would be a good idea for me to... Oh. <laughs> I don't have my emulation window open. <laughs> uh, probably would be a good idea for me to play as somebody else. Um, 
or, or rather, play on another stage. I, I can't play as somebody else because I'm down to my last character. Uh, certainly it's extremely annoying that, um, I have to do fighting game inputs in order to, uh, be able to, uh, do special abilities and stuff. Also, I, I'm noticing that that breaking things is, is, a, is a common theme here for, for level progression. Okay, so despite lacking speed, Hulk can actually KO enemies ra rather quickly. Like, look at that. I just one-shot that, that one enemy and two-shot the other. And if I actually manage to beat this level, I, I can revive a character since I just got a revival item. Look, it's, it's those colored Wolverine clones again. I, mean, I, I assume they're clones. Anyway, not sure what else they could be. Yeah, I, I keep noticing that, that these doors keep dropping down and blocking my progress and, and needing to, to block them. Like, like, I, I've been needing to do that a lot as I've been playing through this game. Oh wow, I almost got hit by that because uh, I, I didn't see him coming. Oh god! <laughs> uh, like that right there. Uh, oh wow, I even three shot him. That, that's... wow. Should have gone after the Iron Man first. Okay, and Hulk has a dash attack as well. Ugh. Be wary, that area is filled with poison gas. Get out of there as soon as possible. Oh god, I have an air meter again. What? I tried to... Tried to air dash, or, or rather, head dash to, to break it and... Huh. I, I didn't even get outside the building and... Okay, well... Oh god. Off-screen shooting enemies are the worst. Gotta climb back up there again, but uh... No problem. Probably gonna do the same amount of damage to E Daredevil. Um, okay, so apparently these enemies have have, have been Daredevil all along, even though that looks nothing like Daredevil, and Daredevil isn't literally a, a, a devil. And it looks like I, I found cheese shaft for beating this boss. Okay, so changing the level definitely uh, helped out with uh, making progress. I actually managed to beat a level. Um, okay, so now that I can revive a character, I'm actually not going to go back to the asteroid belt until I uh, finish one of these others. Uh, excuse me. Um, let's see here. Uh, Egypt looks like the, the least dangerous of, of the three I have left, so uh, let's go with that. Also, uh, Hulk's damage output made me think of, about something. Wouldn't it be great if you could actually switch between these characters inside the level itself? Like, you know, you, 
you play as one of the other characters to move through it quickly and then switch to Hulk when you fight the boss for, for that massive damage output to defeat the boss quickly. That would actually be really good for the speedrun of this game. here all because of <sighs> okay if I didn't do that I, I definitely would have been stuck there now I gotta hope that I get a health pickup and I have to avoid damage all the while waiting to, to... Oh, what what <sighs> I've never done that before oh I'm, I'm definitely dead now Oh god. I'm literally dead. Seriously? There, there is no way I was going to survive that. <sighs> you know what? If I'm going to lose the, my last life, I, I might as well lose it by playing something different. I assume that's Doctor Strange. Uh, he certainly looks uh, different than, than uh, he normally does. Oh god. What's... Silver Surfers and, and Fireballs. Oh, oh god. Okay, well, well this level's not what I was expecting it to be. Uh, better for me to try to avoid them rather than to try to hit them. But if they stop to shoot, then, then I try to hit them. God, they take a lot of punishment. So lucky I, I managed to get health there. And then of course the, the game made me get used to ones that shoot, so I try to hit the ones that you avoid. 
Oh, and I guess we reached this, uh... Reached the end of that part of the level. I'm pretty sure this level would have been pretty bad if... The entire... Ugh, the entire thing was just that section. Not sure why I'm picking that up. This is my last life, so it's useless. It's useless unless I get a revive, that is. Oh, and speaking of the daredevil. Yeah. casually walks through the lava. <sighs> Ethan, the same boss that I fought in the training room. This time, fighting him for real. Wait. Ugh. Seriously? Okay, well, still managed to get him, though. Yeah, Spider-Man just casually sat in the lava. Well, okay, so I actually managed to... Oh, I should have picked those two levels from the start. seem to have a better shot at finishing Egypt than I do the asteroid belt, so might as well give it a shot. Oh, I'm definitely taking that. Definitely need that. Oh, and I can only take three per... per thing. Um, how do I use it, though? Oh! Oh, I see! Okay! Yes! Oh my god, I, I should definitely be able to finish this now. Okay, next time I play this, I, I'm definitely gonna play uh, Mount Vesuvius first. these guys being able to be one shot had nothing to do with me playing as Hulk then. Oh god. <laughs> I, I started to get worried there for a second. Oh god. Oh, forgot about this part. It's going to be annoying. Poison gas area. Ooh. 
Oh wait. Ugh. Poison gas part's not yet. where I got stuck before. Oh, the, the, the poison gas area was, was in the mines area, and I, and I beat that. Oh, nice! The, the, the health packs even restore your, your extra health. Very nice. That would have really sucked if it didn't do that. I know that there's some games where if you have the ability to gain extra health than normal, then... then if you still have that extra health it, and you pick up a healing item, it won't work. Thankfully, this isn't one of those games. Oh! Okay, so... Oh, th there's traps here. Gotta be careful of those. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm actually accidentally uh, dodging them. And I made it to the boss with full health. E-Hulk. Oh, God. I already fought this thing in, in, in the in the maze, but now it's a full-blown boss version. God, he does a lot of damage. Okay, I, I actually thought I was gonna get hit there. It's the worst one so far. Uh, very tempted to play this as Iron Man for the double jump. No revive item, but uh, with double health, I should be able to uh, beat this level now, hopefully. These things, though. Ugh. Okay, well. My health's not so bad considering I have twice the amount. Ugh. That, that's impossible to avoid, though, since he opens your shit. off screen so I couldn't see him. Thank <laughs> you. 
finish soon. Hopefully I can finish this level now. It will largely depend on whether or not if I can avoid these things. Managed to get a large chunk of my health back, now it's just a matter of avoiding those things. Ugh. I really wish I could jump through that platform. No, are you serious? I can't even do that? Actually made it to the boss of this level. But he's a cheap son of a bitch, so I wasn't able to beat him. Ugh. See, see, see what I mean? Ugh. I, I can't even try to. That's so stupid! Why the fuck does he have that attack? this power chance to, to, to beat this with Spider-Man. <sighs> really missing that double jump right now. Man, are completely unnecessary to have in this level. Time to fight Doctor Doom again for the billionth time.
Now I'm gonna lose all my health trying to get to black card because of these things, and I'm gonna get a game over. even have as much health as I did when, when I got here as Iron Man, so I'm definitely not going to beat him this time. If he didn't have that, I would actually stand a chance against him. So what's the password for? Password. They, they, they give you one from the beginning of the game and, and it just sends you to the beginning, so you, you might as well just play start anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. What they should have done is make it so that it generates a password every time you beat a level and, and then it's saved to the cart, you know, as, as long as you only reset the, the game and not the console. You know, like you don't turn the console off, you just reset it. way if you reset you know you can continue that way See the end of this game. On the bright side, at least I have all my characters, but. I have no idea how, how the fuck I'm gonna beat Blackheart. Accepting that. Ugh. 
Worst part is I'm gonna have to answer that password again. God damn it. Oh, and now it saves a password? Well, regardless, I'm making a safe state. That way I don't have to do that again. there was I flew past the trigger for the boss battle and, and that ended up uh, making me hit, hit, hit a death barrier that I wasn't supposed to be able to get to or something I don't know Jumped. Now I'm definitely not going to beat Blackheart. I, I have way too little health for this. Jump on that. Wow, I actually managed to beat him. Unbelievable. Okay then, so we might actually be able to see it in this game after all.
The heroes have collected five of the Infinity Gems and have now targeted Thanos' base. As the heroes travel into Thanos' shrine, a woman appears. I am Nebula, so you're the ones who seek to interfere with my master Thanos. There is no reason for Thanos to be troubled by you. I shall deal with you. So I have a feeling that this is just going to be a one-on-one -on -one boss fight, but in, in that case, I, I'll actually want as much uh, damage output as possible, so... Okay, I was right. She moves fast though, so... Oh god. Oh wow, I actually managed to grab her. I haven't done that yet. Oh. Picking hold might, might have been a bad idea actually, since uh, the damage output seems to be the same for bosses no matter who you... Wait, that's not true. I, I did more damage to another boss when I played as Hulk earlier, so... Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh. She's strat. You gotta love how, how, how the bosses have the same death sound effect as the, the regular enemies. <laughs> After defeating Nebula, Thanos finally appears. So, you've defeated Nebula. Impressive. You seem to be determined to interfere with me. I will destroy you and obtain the gems and become omnipotent. Prepare to meet your death. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I am tempted to, to to fight him as Hulk because of the whole, you know, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame stuff, but, uh, uh, I think I... You know what, let me fight him as Spider-Man since, uh, I've been sticking to him for most of this playthrough, so it's only fitting that I finish with him as well. I do have a re revive item, so if I die here, I, I can choose to use him again twice in a row. So, so he blocks attacks, actually. Oh, oh god. Oh god! Those are practically the same attacks as the fighting game. Oh god. Ugh. Oh god! I can't believe I managed to avoid that. Ugh. But I'm losing health here. Ugh. 
uh, I can't tell when, when I, I can strike him without without without, without him blocking. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm definitely gonna need to take a different approach here. I might need to fight him as Iron Man instead. Wow, are you serious? You literally have no choice but to use a, a full restore if you want to fight him with full health. That is so dumb. Right, watch him be able to, to, to block laser blasts. him though. Ugh. That is uh, as long as he doesn't do that attack. something that I could do there, but of course... God. That fireball from the ground attack is just such bullshit, though. But I think I know a way I can beat him. Ugh. 
blocks. What the fuck is that collision? God, I should have made a safe state but when I made it this far. Now there's no chance for me to be able to escape. safe state here now anyway just in case I managed to, to figure something out I, I feel like I had something going on there attack. So I think I need to wait for him to, to use the, the gauntlet, and then I can hit him. gotta be, huh? J just hit him once, then, then walk away. What the fuck ever? As long as I'm able to beat him.
Yeah, but don't don't tell me beating him is gonna be this easy. Oh my god. If I actually win this way, oh my god. break out of it eventually. Okay, so that's not gonna work anymore. There's literally no way to tell when, when he's vulnerable and when he's going to block your attack. He's always throwing the fucking fireball attack so you can't hit him anyway.
Most anticlimactic final boss of all time. I would literally rather fight Juggernaut in, in Marvel superheroes than this boss. Jesus Christ, that was horrible. But hey, even though I needed to use a password in save states, at least I finally beat this game. Excuse me. has been defeated now the universe is safe as Borlock looks at the gems he says thank you heroes with Thanos gone the gems will be safe in my hands I'm sure that the universe will continue on its natural course I promise to you I'll use the gems to benefit everyone thank you world heroes Heroes make, make their way home back to Earth, where their family and friends await. Will the world ever truly be safe? End. <laughs> not, not even the end. J just end. So, uh, credits? Mm -hmm. 
no credits, really. Okay, that's, um, that's really strange, a unless I skipped them somehow when I was pressing start. Um, okay, well then, um, well, this, uh, <laughs> this ended up becoming an unintentional four-hour stream. <sighs> and, I, and I didn't even play a as many games a as I planned to play uh, tonight. Um, like, I honestly thought I was going to give up on this game and, and move on in the middle of it, but... Despite needing to use a password in safe states, I actually managed to finish it. So, uh, yeah, this de th this stream definitely went on much longer than I expected it to. Uh, but uh, even with that frustrating final boss, uh, as well as the, the Blackheart boss battle, uh, I'm actually uh, pretty satisfied with uh, how this stream turned out. Um, this game is, I would say, alright. Uh, not the best, but, but certainly not the worst either. It's... It's it's fine. Like I said, the, the main problem comes from the fact that you you have to use fighting game inputs to use the special moves, and uh, the, the fact that any attack knocks you down makes it extremely annoying to play, especially during the boss fights, which are essentially just one-on-one -on -one battles. But you know, like, like I said, the whole getting hit once knocks you down thing really ruins them. So. Uh, it, this game's not bad, but it definitely could have been better. I like the way that they utilize the, the character's abilities, at least. Also, you can hit these things to destroy them. That doesn't make any sense at all. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I guess this is a game that I would classify as good enough, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to anybody. Uh,